Pensacola Dam turns a portion of the Grand River into Grand Lake. The dam is the most recognizable symbol of GRDA, the Grand River Dam Authority. This month, we're celebrating a 75th anniversary of uh, the formation of GRDA. And GRDA was really created during the Depression as a, like a TVA, Tennessee Valley Authority. And it was to bring electricity to the uh, rural areas here in Northeast Oklahoma. Water behind Pensacola Dam provides a scenic recreation area enjoyed by thousands of Oklahomans and tourists each year. Water flowing through it turns six giant turbines to create electricity. GRDA also generates electricity by burning natural gas and by burning coal at its plant near Pryor. Charles Barney has worked here for two decades. He's the assistant general manager. On this day of age, everyone's aware of the cost of gasoline, you know, pushing $3 a gallon right now. Our coal, a lot of people may wonder, why do we use coal? Why, does, why did our board of directors choose to use coal as one of our sources of energy? And the answer is the delivered price of coal, if it was gasoline, is about 15 cents a gallon. To generate electricity from coal, the plant uses giant grinders nicknamed pepper mills to pulverize lump coal into a powder the consistency of talc. That powder is then burned at a blistering 3,000 degrees to heat up water taken into the plant from the Grand River. When the coal burns, it creates steam, and that's what drives the turbine. And then when, after we've, the steam is created, it's pumped back out here and it's condensed and it's reused again. The power generated here goes all across the state of Oklahoma. We sell to um, 16 municipal customers, to electric cooperatives. We have interconnects with other power agencies that we, we sell some power to some of them. Um, we sell some power to the Oklahoma Municipal Power Authority, which serves uh, 35 or better municipals in the western part of the state. So GRDA power reaches um, across the state. GRDA spokesman Justin Alberti says to think of GRDA as a wholesale energy producer. First it generates electricity, then it uses 2,000 miles of transmission lines to send the power it produces to communities and companies it supplies. Those in turn retail it to their business and residential customers. Right now this unit is in operation generating electricity for several hundred thousand people. It takes a lot of coal to run this plant. Getting it here is expensive. So to make it a little bit cheaper, GRDA recently swapped out its traditional rail cars that haul coal for these shiny aluminum models. They're a lot lighter, so it takes a lot less diesel for the trains to pull them here. All the coal burned in this plant comes from Wyoming. Up to 135 rail car loads a day can be burned to produce electricity. Reducing the cost of transporting the raw material helps keep down the cost of generating electricity. To keep things greener, the plant puts the smoke from the coal it burns through something called a scrubber before releasing it into the air. That is just kind of an extra step in the emissions cleaning process. We feel with the scrubber on this unit too, it's the, the cleanest coal burning unit in the state. In the not too distant future, Alberti says GRDA is looking at expanding its electrical generating capacity again this time by expanding into alternative fuels. It's considering installing a wind farm in the western part of the state. In Mays County, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.